Hey everybody, Ed Bowder from the Med School Medic Podcast, medschoolmedic.com. We're here with another five minute EMS refresher, and today we're going to talk about non depolarizing paralytics. And generally, these are drugs that you will use in um, RSI settings, um, patients whose airway you need to control and you just can't do it without uh, a paralytic adjunct. So, these drugs, these non depolarizing drugs, they can cause a longer paralysis than a depolarizing drug like succinylcholine. Uh, succinylcholine is the only depolarizing paralytic that's available in the United States, so you might see more of these drugs as well. Um, one of the key things is that they don't cause excess serum potassium. The way that a depolarizing drug works, and you can see in the other video on depolarizing drugs, is it causes a, um, a potassium dump just kind of out into the body. So non-depolarizing drugs don't have that same effect. And uh, because of that, we have fewer uh, contraindications than we do to succinylcholine. Now, succinylcholine, if you have a patient who has a burn um, or is hyperkalemic for any other reason, we can't give it to them. Non-depolarizing drugs don't have those same side effects. So which drugs are we talking about here? We're talking about rocuronium, which is my non-depolarizing drug of choice. This drug is going to be given at 0.6 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram. And uh, it lasts about 20 to 40 minutes. And you have a drug like pancuronium, it's 0.1 milligrams per kilogram, that'll last 40 to 80 minutes. You have vecuronium, uh, which is sort of uh, my second choice, I guess, to rock. Uh, that's 0.1 milligrams per kilogram at 20 to 40 minutes. And understand with vecuronium, there's also um, some kind of questionable data on giving 0.01 milligrams per kilogram uh, as a defasciculating dose as well. Not a whole lot of data supports that, but that is still out there. And then you have atricurium at 0.4 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram and that will last for 20 to 40 minutes as well. So how do these drugs work? Now, throughout the body, you have acetylcholine that circulates throughout the body, and what these non-depolarizing drugs will do is they're gonna block the acetylcholine at the motor end plate of the neuron. So what that does is you have this acetylcholine that's circulating through the body, and then we're gonna give this drug, and through competitive inhibition, we're gonna go ahead and block those acetylcholine receptor sites. So you have this ACH that's circulating throughout the body. We're just going to give this drug to stop the ACH from actually getting to the motor end plate. Now, the reason that that matters is what acetylcholine will do is it'll help potentiate the nerve cell, which will allow uh, muscle movement. So blocking that inhibits muscle movement. This will cause uh, systemic paralysis in the patient. It's going to paralyze their diaphragm, and then we'll be able to essentially intubate them and then breathe for them. So that's kind of an overview of how uh, non-depolarizing drugs work. Again, rocuronium for me is kind of my drug of choice. Um, no more problems with VEC or PANC or atricurium, but rocuronium is more uh, my drug of choice in this setting. So that's your five-minute refresher on your non-depolarizing drugs. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also check out the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Stitcher. It's the Med School Medic Podcast. My name is Ed Bowder, and we'll see you next time.